Hey guys, Brian here. Today we're going to unbox and play the Antigua Pro One Soprano Saxophone. Let's open the case. So here's the case. It says Antigua right here in black cursive. Here's the Antigua logo and it says Pro One. And it's embroidered in so it has a nice feel to it. And the case itself is real nice. It, it, it is a contoured case. It's hard shell but it also has a soft uh, padding finish and the, the material on the outside seems like it, it, it's high quality like it's not going to get caught on anything or rip or tear. So if I had this saxophone I would probably use this case I wouldn't change it for anything else. It, it looks cool and it, it seems like it has good protection to it. So let's open it up and check it out. And there's the saxophone. Uh, just looking at it right now, the first impression I get is the gold lacquer. It's like a dark gold color, so it looks real, real classy, real cool. It, it, uh, and it definitely has some weight to it. It definitely feels sturdy in my hand. At least it's not like a feel like a toy or something. It feels like a, a real instrument. Just holding it like this. Um, but just a little backstory about this saxophone. Antigua and the saxophonist and saxophone designer Peter Ponzel helped develop this saxophone together. And it's Peter Ponzel has been doing, I guess, saxophone design for the past 20 or 30 years. I know he has he has necks that you can buy, saxophone necks, not human necks, saxophone necks and things like that. So this is kind of like his latest brainchild. And I think this Soprano model is only a few years old. And they came out with the tenor and the alto several so, uh, few years before that. Um, so this is the, the newest uh, Soprano Pro One. This is the newest Pro One line, which is the Soprano saxophone. And this is the top of the line Pro model for uh, Antigua. So you can also see here that it's one one body, one piece design. The neck is attached. So it's not like some other Sopranos where the, you'll see a little screw here and you can take out the neck and have a, a curved neck or a straight neck. This one is just a straight neck. So with that being said, the one piece design allows the instrument to, to have more resonance, I believe, and have a, just easier to blow. Uh, more free blowing uh, because there's less less I guess uh, obstacles and less less places for the air to travel. It just goes straight straight through. Um, so that's an, uh, uh, that's one reason why I think a lot of people like playing just a one piece design uh, soprano versus ones where you have the option of a straight or a, a curved neck. So. Another cool thing I want to say before I get into anything else is the saxophone itself, the material, I was reading about this, the material, the brass that they use for the Pro One series, it is called a vintage, Reso vintage reserve alloy. And it was analyzed for metals from post-war French saxophones. So like a Selmer Mark VI, for example, which is like, what a lot of people say is the greatest saxophone model ever. It has the greatest tone, all that good stuff. So I guess the Antigua engineers analyzed that metal and they try to get the chemical compound and throw it in this brass that we see right here. So I don't know much more than that, but that would be a cool YouTube video to see that process or even see how they came up with that idea. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else we have in the case here. So we'll start here. This is a mouthpiece. It looks just, and it, here's a mouthpiece cap. Mouthpiece just looks like a regular stock mouthpiece. I don't see any writing on it anywhere in a stock ligature. And then here we have a reed. It says Rico two and a half. So if you never played a saxophone before, you don't need to buy anything else. Here's your reed and your mouthpiece. 
So you can use that to get started before you upgrade to a different reed or different mouthpiece. Um, here's some premium cork grease. It says Antigua right there. And next, this looks like a luggage tag and it says Antigua here and Antigua here. So when you're on tour, playing your saxophone, touring the world, you just slap this thing on here and you're good to go. We have a Antigua card. When I turn it around, uh, just says thanks for choosing Antigua products. Get a free woodwinds and brasswind polishing cloth by registering your instrument at the Antigua website. Okay, so you can get another another cloth if you need one because this looks like there's one right here. Yep, it says Antigua right here and it's a nice dark gray color. And this looks like a neck strap. Antigua and there's Antigua logo here. Looks like a nice strap. I'm not going to open it to save time right now. But uh, when I play soprano saxophone, a straight one, I really don't use a neck strap because it, it kind of gets in my way of my thumb. Um, I, I'll use a neck strap on, the, on my curved soprano, obviously, curved body soprano. And also, if I use a curved neck on a soprano, then I'll use the, uh, the neck strap because it kind of takes the instrument away from your body when you use the curved neck but a straight neck I, I don't really use it um, but I think it's good to have it for safety but I don't think it really necessarily helps you hold the instrument um, so let's see what else we have here on the outside okay we'll start here this looks like the a strap, a shoulder strap for the bag itself. It says Antigua right here. It's nice, feels nice. And this says quality checklist. So it says the date it was checked, I'm thinking, and then the model number, serial number, technician signature, who did it, and they check off. The finish looks good, the adjustment looks good, and the playability. So it's nice to know that someone looked at this before they shipped it out. Um, here's the limited warranty card. Uh, limited warranty covers defects in workmanship for a period of one year and materials for a period of five years from the date of purchase. So fill this out and you have pretty real good warranty coverage, I think. And it goes to San Antonio. Um, so that's that. And last, this just looks like it explains the warranty in, in way more detail than we have time to, to look at right now. And that's it. All right, so here's the horn out of the case. Here's my mouthpiece. I'll put that on. But before I start playing it, there's some key features I want to show you guys about this horn. The first one is the G-sharp key. Now, there's a mechanism here which says that the G sharp key will never stick. So I'm pretty interested in that uh, because I've always had problems with my G sharp keys on all my other saxophones. Um, that they, always, they tend to stick, you can clean them off, and do stuff to it, and it will last for a day or two, and then you know you put the horn away, three days later you take it out of the case and then it, it sticks again. So I would be interested to see over time the how well that, that does work. Um, because that, that would be huge for me, at least, because I'm used to always having to deal with the G-sharp key. Um, another feature I want to show you guys is down here on the lower stack where the B and the B-flat key are. They have what they call a trident arms uh, right here. So trident means three, so well, it, it's three prong system. Uh, usually you'll have one arm um, on the lower notes like this one. But on this saxophone down here, on these, the lowest notes, you have the three, hand, three arm system right here. And it, it adds more weight um, to these keys because you're pressing up here with your pinky to 
press these keys down. So I think what their design idea with this was is if they add more weight down here, it's easier for you to use your pinky to, to press those keys down and it will have a more even uh, lay over you know, the, the, the whole key uh, to prevent you know, air leaking and things like that. So I think the bottom line is, the idea is it makes it easier to place in the lower registers. And also speaking of the lower registers, the tone holes are rounded. I don't think you can see it that well, but they're rounded tone holes on the lower notes, starting with, with the C key here, um, the C sharp, B, B flat. And the rest of the horn are regular tone holes where they're just straight, regular straight tone holes. So those rolled tone holes are supposed to spread the sound, especially at the bottom end, and make it, make it have more resonance and have a fuller sound down there. And also not make you, you know, struggle to, to hit those notes down there as much as, as you normally would on the lower notes. So those were some of the things I wanted to talk about and show you guys before I play it. So now that I did that, let's, let's give this a go. Yeah, I, uh, the projection is there for sure. Um, yeah, it has a nice big sound. And the ergonomics of, of the horn in my hand, they feel feel real nice. Um, I'm not struggling to go anywhere with my hands. They seem perfectly placed for me. I have decently sized hands. Um, but yeah, let me give this another go. Yeah, it plays, it plays great, um, and I, I don't know what else to say about it, but I really like this horn, and I'm really impressed with how it's set up and how it sounds, projection, it sounds balanced throughout the horn, great tone, um, yeah. So this is the Antigua Pro One Soprano Saxophone. See you guys next time.